Okay, to answer this question, let's draw a free body diagram. Okay, let this box represent the swimmer. And since she is falling downwards, she is acted on by her weight, represented by W. And the water is resisting her fall. So there is a water resistance that is acting in the opposite direction, represented by WR. And since she is decelerating as she's going downwards, the resultant force of uh, the weight and the water resistance should be upwards. Okay. So now let's calculate the weight of the swimmer. You can use the formula W is equal to mg and her mass is 60 and g is 10. So that will give us 60 Newton. And to calculate the resultant force, we can use the formula F is equal to MA and that will be 60 times 16 and we will have 960 Newton answer C this is a recall question as we all know inertia refers to the resistance of a body to change its current state of motion that means an object in motion will want to continue to stay in motion and an object that is at rest will want to stay at rest so the answer is C okay, for this question uh, let's examine the four options okay, we, we see a comparison between the boss falling on earth and on the moon as well as we see the ball falling in air and in vacuum Okay, so now let's examine the balls that are falling on Earth first, which is option A, C, and D. If it's falling in air, that means, that means the ball is facing a resistive force, which is the air resistance. So air resistance will oppose the, the falling motion of the, of the balls. So, so it will take option A and option C. C will take a longer time to reach the bottom of the tube so we can eliminate these two options okay now let's look at option B and option D one is falling on moon and the other one is falling on earth and the difference between moon and earth is that the acceleration due to gravity on the earth is 10 meter per second square and uh, gravity the acceleration due to gravity on the moon is about 1.67 meter per second square so since this tennis ball has a higher acceleration due to gravity of 10 meter per second square as well as um, it doesn't have air resistance to slow it down so option D should take should take the shortest time to reach the bottom of the tube okay for this question if we were to move the object from the earth to the moon the mass which is the amount of particle or amount of matter in a body should stay the same and the weight which represent gravitational force is calculated by W is equal to mg and the mass is constant so what is different is the gravitational field strength and the gravitational field strength on the moon is about 1.67 newton per kg and the gravitational field strength on the earth is 10 newton per kg so when we shift the object to moon the gravitational field strength decreases hence the weight must be lesser answer c okay, this is a very simple recall question we are supposed to find the density of the stone so the density is equal to the mass divided by the volume and the mass we are, we are given that it is 120 grams and the volume can be can be found by finding the difference between the water level here which is 90 minus 30 we have 60 cm3 
cube. So density is equal to 120 gram divided by 60 cubic centimeter and that will give us 2 gram per cm cube. Answer C.